Hamas is reportedly digging more than six miles of tunnels towards Israel each month. According to unnamed Israeli officials, the announcement comes amid an ongoing battle between Israeli politicians and the bereaved families of Israeli soldiers who were killed during the 2014 war in Gaza, who are now questioning whether the Netanyahu government properly dealt with the tunnel threat before the war began. Israel located and destroyed two Hamas attack tunnels in April and May in the southern Gaza Strip. Both attack tunnels ran into Israeli territory and were the first to be discovered in the area since the end of the 2014 war in the Gaza Strip. At least 34 tunnels were discovered and destroyed during the war, dubbed as Operation Protective Edge by Israel. Many of them led into Israeli territory and were used by Hamas fighters to infiltrate the Jewish state and carry out deadly attacks on troops. Since the 50-day conflict with Hamas, Israel has invested around $250 million in developing detection systems to locate such tunnels in the future. Now, anonymous statements given to Channel 2 by alleged Israeli officials claim that Hamas is continuing to dig up six miles of tunnels a month. Education Minister Naftali Bennett has accused the Israeli Prime Minister of refusing to learn from mistakes made in the lead-up to the 2014 Gaza war. But Netanyahu has claimed he was well-informed about the threat of Hamas tunnels before the war began. 